Thank, Thank you, you to, to our, our subscribers. subscribers. And this time on Sailing Intermission, we had a bad gooseneck, a good outboard, and a great AC. Went and picked up our new Mercury 15 horse four stroke outboard. It weighs 111 pounds, so <laughs> paid the marina yard, uh, I think $90 to pull our old one out and put the new one in. And here we are downloading it onto the dinghy itself. I hope these lifting straps hold. <laughs> if they don't, uh, I'll be paying the diver to go to the bottom of the marina water to fish it out, I guess. Do you need me to come down and hold the dinghy? Or if you got it tied off? I think I got it. Row, row, row your boat gently down the stream. Got our gas tank and battery, and we are ready to go. Yeah, don't ever throw your trash over to the dock because sometimes it goes right off the other end. This is a major trash rescue.
what you were just seeing is the gooseneck on the mizzen mass. Will we ever get out of here? So apparently, and I missed it, it had worn, I don't know if you can see the play here. The gooseneck, of course, connects the boom to the mast, and this one had worn so much, I think we feel the need to replace it, have one machined, or something. Meanwhile, the forward air conditioner is installed and functional. Uh, we have four inch duct work going everywhere, some Ys, and we insulated uh, it. It's all compromises. Difficulties getting the duct, uh, drilling such large holes in your boat. This one we use for storage, but it also has a insulated duct work now. Of course, this is part of the galley. And moving along, doing a little cleaning, the vacuum out, messed up, master. Installed the second vent here. And here's our somewhat messy master cabin here. Installed the third vent here. I do have a return close to it, but they're really pointed in different directions. And then the thermostat isn't as high as I wanted, but was able to hide the wire going to it. I stood it off on some wood pieces I've yet to finish. It just came on. Uh, because I read that the temperature sensor is in the back of the unit, so rather than cutting a hole in the wall, I thought it'd be more sensitive to the ambient temperature if it was stood off the wall a little bit. Works great. You can see it's blowing the jacket there. And these have dampers on them. So we can kind of make the airflow consistent throughout the salon and the uh, master. See how messy our salon is? Actually not too bad. Been doing some projects. Of course the return air, uh, return air <laughs> grill. Down here it's hinged. I'm using a Merv for filter that you cut yourself so and that's the filter material and of course if you take this out probably can't see but there's part of the air conditioner unit the pumps in there and the strainer and then the pump and the strainer are both below waterline. The pump slightly higher than the strainer. It's a March, about 500 gallon an hour pump. And again, a 16,000 BTU Dometic ECD unit. Look, Telltale's on the bench. 